Case 5, Personal Narratives. In Case 5, we have Canadian books that are personal narratives of the author's experience in prison, and in some cases, their lives before and after prison. The first book, said to be written entirely in a Canadian prison, is Just Call Us Bandits, by Glenn Halmerson, published in 1961, shortly after he was released from prison. Halmerson was active as an editor for the KP Telescope. In his notes, Halmerson advises that, quote, if you have any idea of becoming an author, don't go to jail to write your book. Roger Caron earned considerable commercial success from his novels about his life and his prison experience. Go Boy, Memoirs of a Life Behind Bars, won the Governor General's Award for English Language Nonfiction in 1978. In 1985, Caron published Bingo, a first-hand account of the 1971 riot in Kingston Penitentiary, where Caron was serving time for robbery. Mickey MacArthur, a bank robber and serial prison breaker, was the author of I'd Rather Be Wanted Than Had, which began in 1986 while incarcerated in Millhaven. In the preface, MacArthur writes, quote, This book was not written by a cons con. It was written by a prisoner, a thief, and a human being. Also in this case are two books of poetry, Shackles and Silence and Dead Time by John Rives. The expression dead time is slang for wasted time, especially time spent in detention awaiting trial. The symbol on the cover depicts a popular prison tattoo design that means 12 jurors, one judge, and half a chance.